welcome to the next video in security series, aka security series. We already have talked about uh, the images, securing ACR, securing cluster, securing node, and in this video, we'll talk about uh, securing pod. Uh, we are focusing on single components. That's the reason uh, we are not touching everything in a one go. As soon as these uh, we finish these components and i think this would be the last one and, and the component uh, the part one here and then the upcoming videos will uh, talk about the entire best practices for aks cluster and then you can easily connect the dots but this will be helpful for sure so let me share my screen quickly and take you through with uh, the diagram same diagram that we we have been following so let's share and start working on it i hope you can see my screen now cool well we have already talked about these things so today we are going to talk about the pod this is what we need to talk about which is running on the node we have already secured the acr we have secured the aks cluster master node and the node now it's time to secure the pod so the very first thing is pod security. The very first thing is the security policies in case of the pod, because we need to enforce uh, best practices around uh, minimizing the container runtime privileges, including not running as the root user, not sharing the host nodes, processes or network space. So how can we do that? We can apply the pod security policies. So pod security policies can help us to uh, minimize the container runtime privileges and stop, uh, stop it running as a root user. Okay. Uh, no root, just a shorthand, uh, minimize privileges. These would be the two uh, things, or we can achieve more like not even accessing the network space of the node uh, or not even the host. Well, it can be done through the pod security policies. You want to make it isolated with least privileges. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, what is the second thing that we can do to secure the pod because by default all pods talk to each other right so we can apply the network policies and when we create the aks cluster i've showed you this before already when we create the net uh, aks cluster we have the option to select the network policy select is like selected like enable or yes so once you enable the network policies it's fine uh, you can implement it later but once it's enabled uh, you can apply like the parts cannot talk to each other. We can control the traffic. Enable to uh, enable for the parts. Yeah. And uh, you can prevent <clears throat> a pod. You can prevent uh, the communication between the parts. Now, by default, uh, pod has uh, internet access, right? And uh, there are situations for security perspective, you want to uh, limit pod egress endpoint, and that can also be done by network policies. So in network policies can help us in pod to pod communication, like prevent it. Second, it can also help us limit the pod egress endpoint. We can say uh, also help in uh, limiting the internet access. Now, what what is there in the pod? Pod runs the images, right? Pod runs the images as a as a container, and we have already make sure our our images are secure. Scanning is done. There is no vulnerabilities even. Microsoft Defender is enabled on the ACR so that it will keep on scanning and checking. Upgrades are whenever uh, 
the image upgrades, the base image upgrades, it will ACR task will automatically upgrade the images. So that's been secure already. Now, one more thing, don't use fixed credentials within ports or container images as they are at risk of exposure or abuse. Instead, use port identities to automatically request accessing using a central Azure AD solution. So we need to implement pod managed identities that can help us secure it further. So these are the few practices that we should implement to secure our pod. And if we combine all the practices that we talked about from the very beginning, it would be a huge list and we'll consolidate the huge list in the next videos with the best practices approach, including the security. Well, thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye-bye.